so happy to meet with you and I am so glad you wrote this book. I want to admit something publicly that I usually don't say. Ah. I hate to read. Put me in front of a TV set, I will watch anything, but reading is not my thing. I got this book on a Wednesday evening. I yes. was done Sunday morning. I could no. not put it down. Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh, Thank Candy you. at last. Amazing, amazing. There's so much wonderful information in there. I mean, I, let's just start with the celebrity stuff because, I mean, for me, I was just like, no, really? No, really? <laughs> and one thing that I thought was so interesting, uh, your rivalry with Liz Taylor and the jewelry. But before we get to that, I would say, and, may, and maybe I'm incorrect, but I think that Joan Crawford indirectly was responsible for that because she made a comment to Aaron Spelling about a little piece he gave you, <laughs> yes. right? Yes, that, it, when um, we went to New York to visit her, and I, 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 we had just gotten married, I was in my early 20s, and he had given me a little ring that had, they were like teeny, te looked like t little tulips almost, three of them, and one had a little sapphire in it, one had a little ruby, and one had a little emerald, and he you know, said, Joan, did you see the ring that I got candy? And he said, she looked at him and went, Aaron, darling, until you can afford to buy her very important pieces of jewelry, just buy her candy and flowers. <laughs> God. So every time I would ever get oh. a piece of jewelry, I'd always go, oh, thank you, Joan. And then Liz would probably be like, oh, saying something else. <laughs> or now Liz just, I mean, I guess there weren't a lot of women in, in, you know, in our, our town that had big pieces of jewelry and my husband loved to buy me gorgeous necklaces and earrings and bracelets. So, you know, when I would come in to a party or vice versa, she'd always, you know, everyone loved looking at what is Elizabeth wearing? Is she wearing her fabulous emeralds? And, but she always got, I got a kick out of she liked to look at my things. Of course, of course. Well, you know, Erin Spelling listened to Joan Crawford, as anyone would. I mean, she would intimidate me or anyone, for that matter, I think. No, and so, trust me, she would. She would? She would. She actually forced down a spoon in a restaurant of yogurt. I don't eat yogurt. It, 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 I, I, it started to gag. It's gross. And she, no, you have to taste this. You have to, and by the time she finished, I was eating a big tablespoon full of blueberry yogurt. <laughs> And you swallowed it, you didn't spit I it out. I swallowed it and I was sure it was gonna come back up, but it didn't. Of course not, oh my gosh, that's, yeah, I, I don't think you say no to Joan. No, you don't, Yeah. No. Well, you know, I grew up on, I mean, if I were to count my top 10 shows, they would all be Aaron Spelling shows. Thank you. I mean, you. from Starsky and Hutch to Charlie's Angels, Dynasty, Fantasy Island, The Love Boat. I mean, every, I think it was every Friday, it was Love Boat followed by Fantasy Island. Right, right. So, right. I've been a fan for years and you know something very interesting in your book you know I remember seeing your picture you know next to your husband you know anytime you were on TV or in a magazine or wherever mm -hmm. and you know you just don't think too much you were just you know always Aaron Spelling's wife and you know I kind of myself you know I would equate you and Mr. Spelling as just you know two strong you know people and confident and I had no idea until I read your book how shy, how painfully shy you were. I mean, you even hid in Dean Martin's bathroom. And actually, you know who it was? It was Rock Hudson. Oh. It was a party for, um, it was a, a party for um, Princess Grace. And I, he was always my idol, Rock Hudson. So when I finally got to his house, we were, Aaron and I were dating, I was so intimidated by actually meeting him that I, I just said, excuse me, and I went to the bathroom and I stayed in there all night. Gosh. Finally, there was a knock at the door later. I mean, people kept coming and saying, is somebody in? Oh, it's occupied. And then um, all of a sudden, I hear this large knock on the door. Are you in there, Candy? I said, yes. He said, we're going home now. That's amazing. I mean, when you hear that, because, you know, we don't think of that as, no. you know, being reality, but it was yours. So how do you come from that <laughs> to this, this strong, confident, a uh, powerful woman. I mean, you've really, you know, I mean, your book says it all, candy at last. I mean, you're finally not someone's wife. Uh, I mean, you're still someone's mom, but now you are candy spelling. Yes, I have a career of my own now, and 
I think it's because Aaron always said, follow your dreams. And I feel like uh, I finally have found my voice. Uh, am, am I still shy? You never lose that, really. But, you know, she's still in here somewhere, that shy girl. But I, I try to find my voice and speak out because it makes me feel better, first of all, to say something I'm thinking. Um, but I've lost my filters and sometimes I say a little much. You're allowed. That's a good thing. You know, I think we're a little bit too PC sometimes anyway. So uh, you've met so many celebrities. I mean, have you gotten to the point where you're just so desensitized to like, oh, they're just people? Or is there anyone or has there been anyone that you've been so awestruck like, oh, wow, I can't believe I'm sitting in front of this person? There were two men like that, really, and, and one of them, well, there were a lot of them. I can't say that. You know what? Every one of them that I would meet, as, as much as um, I was around the business, I was certainly around them all the time. I never went to a party that, that you know, everyone wasn't somebody. And yet, you know, everyone's just really, deep down, a regular person. But I, I was really in awe of Fred Astaire. I wanted to oh, be Fred Astaire. I would too. <laughs> I wanted to be Fred Astaire. And so I had a, a New Year's Eve party one year, and I sat Fred Astaire on one side of me and Cary Grant on the other. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's a big wow. Yeah, it was, it, to me, it was like, oh my God, I'm in really heaven. I have yeah, my heart. To, to. Oh, wow, wow, amazing, amazing. Well, I have a few more things I want to ask you. And you know what? I, we're not going to talk too much about Tori and Randy. I know everyone asks you the same thing. But I do want to say something that I loved about your book. Like every, pro, like every person in America, you know, we follow the news and the media. Right. And it seems to me, after reading your book, that the media has really spun this story, your relationship with your daughter. And in your book, not, I mean, you're very honest about, you know, mm -hmm. th there's a bit of a little rift there or some distance that things are getting better, but not once did you ever say, I mean, in fact, you always said the same thing in your book, how much you love her. From the day she was born, how much you loved her. And that is consistent from the beginning of the book all the way to the end. Well, because that's how I feel, and I'm, I'm always there to support her. Have we had our differences? Oh, of course we have. Um, you know, and, and the press, I think, has blown out the, yeah. the, you know, the infamous feud between Tori and Candy, or Candy and Tori, however you want to put it. Yeah. But I really feel that as a mother, I mean, I can't, I, can't, I can't look at her and say, hey, whatever she's done, I may not share that much with the audience, but I have to tell you, whatever she has done, she's been successful at it. She has you know, a great stance about her, and I admire that. Yeah. Does she realize how much you look alike? <laughs> a lot. Really? Oh, I, yes. I never see it, but you know what? I see it. it, it it's hard to tell. Oh yeah, I see it. I totally see it. Um, and speaking of success, just a little segue here. I understand someone's just received a bunch of Tony nominations. My uh, Broadway play that's running now after midnight received te uh, seven Tony nominations, including uh, Best Musical. Oh wow, okay. Now that's what we call it, candy at last. This is all you. This is oh, yeah. all you. Yeah. That's I'm, wonderful. I'm, I'm sure well, Aaron is smiling. Yeah. I hope so. Oh, I know he is. Well, I cannot thank you enough. I wish you the very best, not just with the thank book you. tour, but with your producing efforts, with your children, just, just with everything. I'm a big fan. Oh, thank a big you fan. so much. So thank you so much. Oh. Enjoy Atlanta while you're here. <laughs>